Okay guys, so today I'm gonna explain how I made the Mainframe is the Future song that I made for the Mainframe Proof of Freedom contest. I really like the song. It's pretty different to what I'm used to do. If you check my other songs, it's uh, pretty different. But I really like the style, it's pretty powerful and um, rough. And it fits uh, events like presentations and advertising. And hope you like it. I started with the drop. This is the first thing I had in mind. When I saw the contest, that drop came to my mind. And uh, I was thinking like a, like a revolutionary, um, hard-hitting drop. I think it, that's what mainframe uh, inspires me. And that's why I made it. The future. So let's is start now. with the pre drop. Mainframe um, is the future. A reversed um, guitar, a really high pitch uh, guitar that I think uh, gives a the really future cool, uh, is now. Really cool vibe to the pre-drop. As you can see, uh, this is uh, me. I recorded my voice with the uh, future is now with the microphone and. Uh, Future I had is to now. layer the voices because uh, I Future think it is now a bit weak uh, alone. And this is um, the processing I made. Some uh, stereo, a bit of um, a bit of compressing, some uh, distortion. Future is now and. Uh, um, big room reverb. Okay, let's go with the drop. First of all, I'm sorry, I'm really messy when Main make, frame is making music. Okay, so the stops. I layered uh, three stops. They sound like this. And the mix down is pretty simple. It's not that much, just um, EQ, some uh, reverb, sidechain. Let's go with the guitar. Uh, the guitar, I think it's the, the coolest part in the drop. It's uh, the real guitar uh, synthesizer that works pretty well with the guitar rig VST it's pretty pretty awesome how they fit that's with the guitar rig you're gonna see how it changes without the without the guitar rig yeah so different with the synths a really really crunchy really rough uh, synth they are in a really low note so it gets the that distortion and that rough sound The bass is really simple, it's just a sine wave. 
with some EQ and that kind of stuff. And this is a really cool part, I think. Uh, they are more like uh, acoustic uh, instruments. This is a bass. It gives uh, some groove to the bass line, I think. This is uh, the first guitar and the bass line. And a second guitar. together sounds like this. So this is the classical part of the um, classical music part of the of the song. Um, if you see if you watch the video uh, this is like the 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 old uh, tale of the the old story of the old social media, like Facebook, um, uh, Google, um, Apple, and Microsoft, and using our information for their own benefit without even asking us. And uh, it tells a story. Uh, that I think it really fits with this uh, kind of music. It's like really epic, and it uh, leads to this breakdown. That is when uh, mainframe appears in the in the in the way, and it gets like much more epic and uh, happier. Okay, so let's start with this part. Really simple uh, chords with um, with uh, some cellos from the XP Dance Orchestra pack from Nexus, and uh, also. Uh, cello making the bass sound and cinematic drums so you can see it keeps building up now um, the chord uh, turns a bit more complex with this line of uh, these notes keeps building up and this appears a violin okay this is the part uh, when mainframe appears drum roll and this cross transition they are all transitioning into this new beat and new sound more uplifting more more happy it's faster beat Same bass, and then here I add a uh, violin, a really uh, with a fast notes. We're gonna later see this um, this layer in the in the drop. And same chords. And 
this drum change. And I think that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked it and uh, good luck in the contest. See you guys.